What's well, good ladies and gents, welcome to the MK of Pugilism Boxing channel where we talk all things box. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff and uh, put the notification bell on all so you get notified as soon as we drop new content. So let's get into it. Over the weekend we had the vacant IBF lightweight title being contested 4v4 between Vasily Lomachenko, the man known as The Matrix and George Ferocious Cambosis in Perth which is in Australia and um, so away ground for Lomachenko. It was a crossroads fight of, of sorts. Both men were coming off of wins. Um, Cambos is coming off of a controversial win over Maxi Hughes, which most people believed he he uh, lost the fight, but it went his way. And um, yeah, Lomachenko on the comeback trail, um, looking to pick up belts again. He was coming off of a victory in his previous fight. And um, yeah, this when when this started, um, we had a good first opening round for George Ferocious Cambosis. He was able to sort of effectively go to Lomachenko's body. And for me, I think if any round in a fight you're going to give him, then you can give him the first round because he was a little bit more effective. Lomachenko was still sort of finding his feet. And um, I thought the body attack of George Cambosis was... Um, effective and a little bit more activity from him so for me he sort of won the round um, but when we got into the second round Lomachenko began to do what I was thinking he should do in the preview get back into the swing of things get back into his uh, old habits and he, he started with his um, impeccable footwork in and out movement um, every time George Cambosis threw a punch, he was paying for it, you know, paying in, in ones and twos. So Lomachenko was just basically out landing, outscoring George Cambosis all night long. And Cambosis is um he's a counter puncher, so he waits for you to make the first move and he needs you really to to make a mistake. And when you make a mistake he capitalizes on on the mistake you make and he he throws his vicious counter punches but um Lomachenko just simply did not allow him to do so he was pretty dominant in his fight you know he was in full flow the jab was working a treat um he was able to get off to the side cut little angles land the left hand and um it was a, a complete and utter shutout really by Lomachenko um throughout this fight he he just was in his in his own um, and George Cambosa simply had no answers. His counter punching was never going to work because Lomachenko just wouldn't give him anything to work with. He just wouldn't make the mistakes that Cambosa needed. And even when, um, you know, he did make, he did lead off and, you know, Cambosa tried to counter, Lomachenko would come immediately back with something very effective and it rocks the head back of George Cambosa. And, um, Cambos was pretty much stuck between a rock and a hard place, losing practically every round be between two and ten. And, you know, it all comes to an end in the 11th round where Lomachenko, in my eyes at least, and I think in, if you watch the fight, you'll see what I'm talking about. Round 11 comes, I think he hits um, Cambosis with, I believe it was a, it was a hook. I think it was a a um a right hook from the southpaw stance and Cambosis goes down but they he was a bit square on the referee doesn't count it to me I think that should have been counted because it was a punch landed Cambosis goes down so to me that's that's a knockdown I think that's the normal <clears throat> definition but the referee doesn't count it allows him to get up um he gets up and then Lomachenko switches things up and he goes to the body, gives him a nice, um, it's like a left hand, the left, um, so one of those left shots to the body, like a left uppercut to the body, right into the solar plexus of George Cambosis. Cambosis goes down and you can see he's badly hurt. And forgot to mention prior to this, a um, few rounds before, Cambosis gets cut on his eyes. So that's bothering him as well. But round 11, he goes down again with a body shot and, you know, you can tell all the wind is knocked out of him. To his credit, he does rise to his feet, 
But Lomachenko, being the intelligent fighter he is and the, the finisher that he is, he just goes exactly to the same spot again, the same punch. Nice um, left to the pit of the stomach, right to the solar plexus. And then that is it. As he does that, the referee waves it off and adds almost simultaneously at the same time the ref waves it off. The towel comes in from the Cambosa's corner. His father compassionately throws in the towel and that is it. That's all she wrote. So excellent performance by Vasily Lomachenko. Um, he, he didn't really put a foot wrong in his fight. And to be honest, he, I don't, I think he, the only argument you can make is that he lost one round and that's it. And that one round was probably the first round. Apart from that first round, all the other 10 rounds, <clears throat> very clear Lomachenko rounds, because George, it, it it just came down to skill. That Vasily Lomachenko is too advanced in his skill level. I mean, even Cambosis' coach was saying in a corner that um, he's, he brought in this guy from the Russian team. I guess he's... I don't know if he's a Russian amateur coach for the elite level or something, but he was trying to coach Cambosis and saying, yeah, he is bringing elite boxing. You are not doing high-level boxing. And it's like, well, <laughs> I could have told you that beforehand, really and truly. So, yeah, Lomachenko, just, just a different class, different level. And it's one of these fights where you just have to watch and just enjoy um, the great fighter that he is, he, he once again proves his skill level, proves how great he is. And um, we'll have to see what happens next. Javante Tank Davis immediately, I believe after the fight, called him out. And yeah, that's what these guys do. I mean, I'd like to see that fight. But again, this is the same Tank Davis that was, was held back from fighting Lomachenko and was saying, ah, oh, we don't need to rush our career. And Mayweather said, nah, let's keep it in-house. We don't want to rush. We don't want to rush. So you have to take what they say with a pinch of salt, really. But I'd I'd be happy to see that fight. And, you know, I don't think Tank's looking to fight anyone at, at around 140. So if he comes through Frank Martin, then, yeah, this this would be a very good fight. I'd fight. I'd love to see. So... Yeah, let me know your thoughts about this victory. We got back to vintage Lomachenko. And um, yeah, until next time, it's MKO Pugilism over and out.